ladies and gigabytes is what I'd say, uh, because we really do have something rather different tonight. So we'll listen to it first and then uh, we'll have a jolly good look round it and have a look at its extra exhaust pipes. Mm, oh yes. <laughs> So it's pickup time, and uh, we'll start on the noisy position uh, on the, t you know, on the H on the humbucker, the H bit of the HSS. <laughs> into the position between the center and the bridge. Into the center. Into the position between the center and the neck. and then just flip it straight to the humbucker and let's have a listen. Yeah, you really can hear the extra power and brightness. Let's see how it cleans up. Again, starting with the bridge position. Uh, between the bridge and the centre. most unusual Stratocaster I have come across, uh, certainly. In 2012, I believe, let me see, 
Yes, in 2012, uh, Fender and Apple, as in, you know, iPhones, uh, got the Indonesian court factory to uh, produce an iOS compatible electric guitar. And you will, hopefully you'll see some photos of the unusual uh, pickups uh, behind the scratch plate at the back. And we can just, really, we can just have a quick look at these. Uh, but let's do the simple stuff first. Okay, so as we can see, it is a square by Fender. You've got a plastic truss rod insert to string trees and six, seven this way around, and you see the serial number, and six in a line seal tuners, which are. Um, it, sadly, I didn't measure them, but they certainly seem to be quite a quite a high ratio. The 14, 16, 18, didn't count them, but anyway, there you go. And there's the serial number if you want to check that out. As you can clearly see, it's a maple neck. Uh, very, very glossy, this thing, uh, with a skunk stripe down the back. Rosewood fretboard with... Uh, the, well, there'll be acrylic dots inlays I assume um, and I think that it's an alder body not that that probably makes very much difference so we've got an HSS uh, config configuration and you will see if you can see that the plasticky bit don't forget 20, 2012 the plasticky bit still remains on the guitar and the thing is absolutely mint. Certainly as far as I can see. Uh, and it's in a nice vintage burst colour. So there's some information on the back here that uh, tells you that it's a class, whatever it is, products, and it complies with something or another. Um, behind here, I expected to find a 12 volt battery and I didn't. Behind here there's a little circuit board with the little outputs and inputs on here. So what have you got? You've got a, a USB in and out here and a headphone socket somewhere else next to it. Yes, so there you go. USB port and a headphone port. Uh, and, you see, the knobs are different, aren't they? The knobs are different than on a regular Strat. Uh, normally you'd have volume two tones, but what you've got on this is volume, tone and volume. And the bottom volume here is for the headphones. Yes, it is. Now, the headphones will only work when you're all USB'd. Um, and... I'm afraid that I do not have the technical expertise to make this talk to a computer. So, uh, it's really, it's kind of wasted on me. So, this will indeed be moved on to somebody new. I mean, it could be that, I suppose, that 2012 iOS is different than whatever system it is I've got, because I, I honestly don't know. Um, but it's a, it's like, Brand blinking knew this. Uh, they were two hundred dollars when they're brand new, and you could only buy them from the Apple Store, hmm. uh, apparently. And what a t what lovely! But even just as a standalone guitar, it's superb. Just have a look at the palm pieces. I've never seen palm pieces that look like that before. They've got like little circly things engraved into them if you can see that, if that's evident. Uh, but it plays brilliantly, and of course the action's where it should be at 1.25 at the 12th, and uh, yeah, it's... D uh, so even without it having um, any kind of computery uh, abilities, it's just a jolly nice guitar, full stop. There's very, very little information out there about these. There is a brief advert, I think it's two minutes long, uh, that's on the tube, uh, by a Fender, and it shows some teenager plugging one of these into his iPhone or whatever device it is he's got, and quickly laying down a track uh, because these chums have said, "Hey, where's this track, you lazy guitar player?" And he does that, and then uh, clears off. Yeah, very, 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 very clean.
very, very clean indeed. Clean like that. It's, it's clean. It's pristine. So, uh, there you go. So that's, so, that's it. That's it from me and this here. Yeah. Very unusual. And a squire. So, uh, with all that said, I shall look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks for tuning in. Adios, amigos. Ta-ra.